All right. So today, this is the Swedish ivy that is far too large now. So I put it in this glass orb planter, which looks pretty great. Um, and it was tiny. It was like yay big. And now it's here. Now it's a sail of a plant. So I got to trim it. And let's do it together. So here we go. Um, you can totally, you can either, you have options. You can cut this in a way of like, I want a really long stem with a bunch of leaves. That's totally cool. Or you can cut a bunch of them and you'll get a ton of plants. And I am, I don't know which one I want to do right now. So I'm just going to first cut a bunch off and then I'll decide that later. So, cut right at the node, so if you come really close, you'll see that I cut it right where the leaves are starting. Because if you were to cut it, say, this is a gnarly thing. If you were to cut it, say, well, actually, these are all pretty dense. But if you were to cut it at the end of, of that stem, then you just have a bunch of excess. So it's unnecessary. You don't need to do that. Cut it right where the node is. And then when you take this, this part you'll propagate, which I just keep telling you. Um, this part you propagate, and like, boop, boop. We don't need these. Goodbye, leaves. You did a great job. The thing that's weird about Swedish ivy that freaks me out is that when you pull the leaves off, whatever else, your fingers start to get orange. One, it looks like, I'm like, oh, Cheetos, cool. But also, I think to myself, I'm killing the plant. What am I doing? I'm a monster. Those are the two things that go through my head. Anyway, that's, honestly, that's it. So then you do that, cut a bunch of stuff off, and then you'll be good. This thing has a, a crazy big stem, which is, which is a little sad that it's gonna be gone, but it's time. So there's this. So here I'm left with, here I'm left with this monster, which I can absolutely plant that, and then this will be its own plant. But I'm gonna snip all these parts and then put them in another planter that I'll put in another video. And you'll say, oh, here's how, here's how it came out. So stay tuned for that. I mean, there's that. Absolutely, orb planters are cool. Make sure that they're plants that are not gonna uh, explode out of the orb. Like, this grows around it, but if you were to put certain plants in there, they're gonna start to freak out and not be able to get out <laughs> of the orb. So, this, this type of plant is great. This one is a purple passion plant which also works well. I've been testing it in here and it's doing, it's doing pretty good. I need to water it a little more often. That's on me. Other than that, good, same, honestly, same thing for this. Trimmer to trim. And then, there you go. Like a haircut, so much cleaner.